Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll do a general collective reading for the month of July. This is going to be for all zodiac signs from Aries um, through Pisces, right? All 12 zodiac signs. I'll be getting one card from the Quantum Oracle as the main energy for each zodiac sign. We will also pull some tarot cards from the Witch's Tarot and then we'll also get a you know, a message from the universe for your specific um, sign. You can watch this reading for your sun, moon and rising. Alright, so let's just jump right in. We'll start from Aries. So let us see, Aries, what is happening for Aries in the month of July 2023, please, for the sign of Aries? What's happening for the sign of Aries in the month of July 2023? What is the main energy for Aries? Okay, friends and colleagues in the reverse. Number three, people. So I'm not sure if you are letting go of some friends in your life. Right, you could be planning to change jobs where you are leaving behind some friends or your work friends or, or some colleagues. Or it could be that you're just not getting along with a group of people. You know, a, pe a group of people that you hanged out with earlier, perhaps, in, in the month of July, Aries, right? So that could be happening for, the, um, for Aries. Let's see. Um, this could be somebody that you are inquiring about, perhaps, you know, somebody you are interested in. This person could be coming out um, of, of a circle of friends or like they're not getting along with a group of friends or perhaps their work or business partners, something like that. Okay, but let's see what is happening for Aries, please, in the month of July 2023 for Aries, yeah, see the tower. So something is breaking down. A, a false foundation is crumbling. Somebody is having a breakthrough as well in the month of July. This could be you, could be your person. Scorpio energy, we have Leo, wow. Strength card. Um, okay, so why is strength here? Hmm. Uh, five of swords in the river, so humiliation. So whoever this person is, I feel this is somebody you are dealing with, could also be you. So there's a breakthrough in this person's life. Some kind of a humiliation that this person is about to go through because of a group of friends or work colleagues. So this person is going to be gathering up a lot of strength and courage, okay? Perhaps this person is energetically leaning on to you for support, for mental and emotional support right but this foundation whatever this circle is this is crumbling down because this is a false foundation based on ego false beliefs okay this is like this is not serving somebody so this situation is crumbling down let's see is there any message the universe wants to tell aries a message for aries please Pakara Buttercup, wow. So this is a very romantic um, energy, Pakara Buttercup. With the Strength card here, somebody is actually, this person could be leaning on to you for emotional and mental support because perhaps they have a lot of romantic feelings for you, okay? So whenever they are going through this emotional um, chaos, perhaps they, they might be coming to you and you might have an emotional moment where this person wants to, you know, just romance you or kiss you or something like that. But something interesting could be happening in the month of July for you, Aries. All right, that's your reading. Let's move on to Taurus. Okay. So, Taurus. Okay, what is happening for Taurus, please? In the month of July 2023, what is happening for Taurus, for the sign of Taurus in the month of July 2023? One card as the overall energy for the sign of Taurus. Okay, 
deserving in the reverse all right hmm. let's see what is at the bottom okay consciousness of lack <clears throat> So Taurus, I'm not sure if you are going um, through, you know, a phase where you think that you don't deserve all the best things in life. Perhaps you have already started feeling this energy that something is lacking or perhaps you need to do something more or have something more in order to feel worthy of something or someone. I'm not sure, okay? But deserving coming in the reverse and a consciousness of lack okay this could relate to your finances or something about people's recognition or you know wanting validation from people or a specific person i'm not sure it could be a lot of things actually but i think you will need to work on your consciousness this this month in july okay um watching some youtube videos right where you can actually i'm seeing a lot of yellow here so so perhaps this consciousness of lack uh, might result into you not wanting to take action right perhaps you're not feeling very goal oriented or you're not wanting to take action uh, in the month of july so perhaps watching some videos you know some meditations for your solar plexus could really help you gain that confidence within yourself because when the solar plexus is out of balance you start feeling that you're not very confident enough you are lacking something you don't want to take action right what's the point so yeah i'm just feeling lazy and just very lethargic all the time so perhaps you might want to just really read some articles on how this can be fixed right this is not something which is permanent you can actually just really work on yourself and this this energy can be healed um so let's see three cards for taurus what is happening for taurus in the month of july 2023 for the sign of Sora, Taurus, thank you. What's happening for Taurus? Six of Cups. Okay, so you are missing somebody, Taurus. This could be a soulmate that you are dealing with. Okay. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Perhaps this person is very in and out of your life. They are in a player energy, like a playboy, right? Just taking action without thinking just wanting to have sexual or physical relationships with you but not really available emotionally perhaps that is why you're feeling this way that you're not really deserving enough right because this person is not giving their time off the day or they're just not really putting effort and energy they're not available emotionally yes see we have the Ace of Swords. So a truth about this person will be coming to you in the month of July. Okay, and you'll, you will need to introspect. Perhaps you are about to come across some kind of an information about this person. Perhaps you are watching their social media. So, you know, there's some kind of like, and this, whatever information this is, this could be actually very challenging for you but i feel you will you will make through this you will okay so don't worry because this is just for july guys even though july is like it, it it's looking a little bit challenging for you guys but i feel you can really make it better if you just you know very very diligently start working on your solar plexus you can also look at some other meditations if you are guided to right but you just need to just you know just put some headphones before your sleep just start that video and just close your eyes and just listen to the binary beats that music right it really helps guys you just you, you really don't have to do a lot of things you can also journal what's troubling you why is this triggering you why do you think you're not deserving why is this trigger coming up how old it is okay you can just really write down all these things and you can work on that 
so yes you are missing somebody this is a soulmate but right now you can be deal you could be dealing with an aries actually okay but it's not necessary whoever this person is this is a very in and out kind of an energy player energy so perhaps you know you don't deserve this you, you deserve somebody who's emotionally available for you. So, yeah, you, you can make it better, okay? So let's get one card from the universe. What does the universe wants to say to my beautiful Taurus? For the month of July, what's the universe's message for my Taurus? Okay, love is never in vain, so see? You love this person, right? You miss them, but don't worry, this is just for July. If you start focusing on yourself, okay, if you start working on yourself, whatever energy you have put out into the universe, you know, this love energy, it's going to come back to you guys. Love is never in vain, okay? So I'm seeing a lot of indigo color on this card. Like your your third eye will start opening up. You will start seeing things that you are not seeing right now. Okay, that that is what the third eye is all about. The third eye sees what is not visible to your, you know, to physical eyes. So that could be a blessing, Taurus. I hope it gets better for you. So all the very best. Okay, that was your reading. Let's move on to Gemini. Okay. What is happening for Gemini, please, in the month of July? What's happening for Gemini? Thank you. Oops. So I'm not sure, Gemini, if you are feeling very you know, out of place or your energy is just really fragmented in the month of July. But let's see. What is the strongest energy for Gemini in the month of July, please? My beautiful Geminis out there. <sighs> strongest energy for Gemini. Ooh, we have friends and colleagues in the reverse again. So this came up for Aries as well. Let's get one card for one more card for Gemini. Victim mentality in the reverse. Okay, so <clears throat> intention behind a mask. Hmm. Interesting. So Gemini, the good thing is that you are coming out of this mentality, you know, this victim mentality. You, you might have been feeling very emotional lately, okay? You thought that it's all in vain, nothing is turning out in my favor, I don't want to do anything, okay? And just, you know, time is just passing by and there are no results, there are no outcomes. So you were basically in a victim mentality. In the reverse, this energy is about to go away because perhaps you have distanced yourself from a group of people that were just putting you down all this time okay so this group of people you know this the circle this friend circle this colleagues or you know the circle of colleagues whatever you are leaving this behind because it's obviously not serving you gemini okay so this is a good thing for you this is really going to help you. You will come out of this victim mentality and you'll start feeling gratitude. I'm also getting that because we have the behind a mask here, perhaps you, you're not really interested in telling these people that you are planning to move away from them. Okay, so perhaps you are hiding that fact. Perhaps some things are better hidden so let's see three cards for gemini in the month of july 2023 what's happening for gemini all right hmm. oh wow so we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, we have the Two of Cups for Gemini, and we have Temperance. Alright. Hmm. 
Okay, so Gemini, I see that there is some heart pain here, heartache, you know, separation, feeling this pain in your heart chakra. Perhaps the person that you are interest, interested in is seeing someone else or, you know, they are dating someone else. Perhaps the person you are interested in, whoever they are seeing right now, they think, you know, he or she is a soulmate. But we do have temperance. So this is not, you know, this situation is not like it's not a loss. This will take some time to turn into your favor. Okay. Um, yeah, we have um, temperance, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, perhaps. Okay, so yeah, I um, I think whatever this time period is of separation and heartache, this time has been given to you by the divine, so that you can work on yourself. You can just really bring alchemy to your three D world and your spiritual world, like a balance, right, which is required right now. Um, you, you could be too much in your headspace with the three of swords here, just really overthinking things. But see, we do have victim mentality in the reverse, so this will turn out in your favor. Okay, you will come out of this and this heartache will go away. Um, with the friends and colleagues in the reverse, as it is, whoever in, you are interested in right now, this person is... Like they're not vibrating on the same frequency so even if you were with this person it really might have not brought you a lot of emotional satisfaction okay now we have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck so i'm not sure if this person is with somebody but they are still looking back at you or your social media or you could be watching this person very closely right so perhaps that is why you are just getting to know that they are with someone else so it could be bringing you a lot of heartache of some kind but don't worry about it okay you will come out of this victim mentality this heartache this situation will turn in your favor with the temperance but it will take some time but all is not lost okay now let's see what does the universe wants to say to my beautiful Gemini in the month of July 2023? Is there a message? Okay, is there a message from the universe for Gemini? Things are about to get really juicy. Hmm. So, you know, with this card, I'm not sure if you are also about to meet somebody with the Two of Cups, Gemini, okay? Perhaps this is a date which is coming up. This could be somebody new. Could be a Sagittarius that's coming in for you, okay? So, this could actually, because see, this card coming up, we, we, I'm seeing a heart here in the background. So, this is changing a lot of things here. So perhaps you are also about to come uh, in contact with a soulmate, could be somebody new or could, could also be somebody you already know from your past. But this person could be coming in, perhaps they're asking you out on a date in the month of July. Things could get really juicy. Okay? So perhaps this beautiful energy might really help you to come out of this victim mentality, this heartache. So yeah, wow, that's good, Gemini. That was your reading. Let's move on to Cancer. Okay, for Cancer, what is happening for the month? Oh, Cancer. So July is actually Cancer season. Let's see what's happening for Cancer in the month of July 2023. What is happening to Cancer, please, in the month of July? My beautiful Cancer is out there. What is happening for beautiful Cancers in the month of July 2023? What is happening for Cancer? Conflict in the reverse. Beautiful energy. Okay. 
I don't know why I did a reshuffle, but conflict in the reverse is this is a beautiful energy, guys. So what I'm getting here that if you were at conflict with yourself, if there was some kind of an inner conflict, emotional trauma, emotional chaos going on, you know, really conflicting feelings coming up, triggering feelings, mental, emotional, whatever. If this is talking about um, a conflict which was happening with other people, perhaps, you know, family members or a group of friends or perhaps your partner you know, your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. This could mean a lot of things. Whatever conflict was happening, this is about to come to an end, guys. And this is an event, so this will take place in the physical reality, okay? Yeah, so see, turbulent waters, boat is just really rocking here and there. We have mountains, so a lot of challenges and struggles could have been going on in your life but in the reverse it's all about to come to an end beautiful energy now let's see what is happening for cancer in the month of july please three cards for beautiful cancers out there what's happening for cancer in the month of july 2023 Two of Wands in the reverse. Mm. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. <clears throat> so, Cancer with the Hermit here. You could be dealing with the Virgo. If not, this is talking about a time period where you, when you need to be on your own, okay? This is a time um, to really just pull back your energy, just really withdraw from the 3D materialistic world or from people around you, okay? Just this is about digging deeper into your own um, like wisdom and knowledge and intuition, right? Just really digging deep for answers that you have been looking for. With the two of wands in the reverse, perhaps this is something, this is like a struggle, a decision that you were not being able to make up until now. But I think finally this conflict is ending. You are coming to an inner decision that yes, I need to do this. And perhaps you are withdrawing because you are very committed to whatever decision you will be making in the month of July, which you have delayed for quite some time, I think. Okay, so yes, there was a choice which you were not perhaps being able to make up until now, but it will, it will be made this conflict will come to an end. Now, the beautiful thing is with the Wheel of Fortune, there's a lot of money or fortune or financial abundance or good luck coming your way in the month of July 2023, okay? So, wheel is turning in your favor. Um, now, this this is not a very fast-moving energy. You could be dealing with the Jupiter, oh, sorry, with the Sagittarius or even a Pisces. Okay, but we have two major arcana. So this is a, like, this is the divine coming in. The divine want you to withdraw your energy in the month of July so that you can dig deeper for the answers that you are looking for so that you can have, you know, a clear path aligned to your soul growth. So the Wheel of Fortune here is telling you that everything will turn out to be in your favor. Don't worry about that. Good, good luck, money, finances, everything is coming your way and the wheel will turn in your favor, whatever your situation is, okay? So this is a very beautiful energy. Let's get one card from the universe for Cancer. Is there anything the universe wants to say to my beautiful Cancer out there for the month of July? Hmm. You were born with that it quality. Ooh, wow. This is a beautiful, like I'm telling you, Cancer, you will not be disappointed, okay? If you are worried that, you know, oh my God, my social life is just going for a toss. I'm not, 
uh, being able to go out anywhere I don't feel like meeting new people and you know if you are interested in somebody and you know this person is not really showing up you're just really worried what the hell is going on don't worry because you were born with that it quality you will know what you need to do and why you know, these things are happening so that was your reading cancer let's move on to leo let's see what's happening for the sign of leo in the, in the month of july 2023 what is happening for leo beautiful bold sexy leos what is happening for the sign of leo please in the month of july 2023 what is the strongest energy for leo thank you okay travel in the reverse so if you were planning to travel in the month of july leo i'm sorry but i think your plans will be cancelled because perhaps you have some other commitments um which you need to like really take care of or attend to okay so <laughs> So yeah, so your trip is like perhaps it's going to get cancelled most probably in the month of July, okay? Now, if this is not talking about a physical trip, um, perhaps you are hesitating to move forward in your journey or in your life, okay? There's some hesitancy which is going on. Perhaps you're not sure about what path you need to take in the month of July. So there could be some introspecting going on okay so we have the empress you could be dealing with a taurus or a libra you could be dealing with a woman this could be a mother figure this could be a wife or a girlfriend okay let's see mm. king of swords yeah so perhaps this is you who is really introspecting the king of swords here really thinking about whether or not to move things forward with this woman here in the month of july yeah so eight of swords yeah because there is that you know energy of you feeling very hopeless in this connection you're not really seeing things clearly whether or not you should take things forward with this woman here this empress okay so at the bottom of the deck four of pentacles so yes i see you holding back you're not willing to take things forward in the month of july now let's see about this empress mm something about her nose so i really you, you know like i'm i'm getting something okay so empress in the upright is generally a very good energy right this is talking about love and growth a very beautiful woman who has everything right she's a combination of all four queens um but i don't know i was really drawn to her nose here and it looks extra shiny right so a nose can signify a lot of things in a person's personality this woman perhaps she acts like she's very high value okay but it's all a facade She's really not that high value. Let's clarify. Why is the Empress here? What is happening with the Empress? What is this King of Swords thinking about this Empress in the month of July? Okay, yes, see, Ten of Wands. And we also have the Page of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So, okay. So, Leo, this could be two things. Okay. So, if you are this, this King of Swords here, you could be really introspecting whether or not to move things with this woman here. Okay. You can change the genders. It's just energy. Um, 
because there is this heaviness perhaps uh, you know you are really worked up there's a lot of work and responsibilities on your shoulders or in this connection you're just feeling very burdened because of something you're feeling hopeless right you're not able to think clearly because this woman here she is sending off that energy where she acts very high value but she really is not that is the first scenario okay um the second scenario uh what i'm getting here leo is that you could be this empress okay but you you're feeling very burdened because of this man you 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 you're seeing things like as if nothing is going to happen with this person things are not moving forward there's hopeless hopelessness right there is frustration there's just that heaviness burdened very heavy and burdened energy could also be talking about sexual frustration but like i'm i'm getting that you know there's some kind of a heaviness in this connection because this king of swords it, 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 he's not taking things forward with you so that could also be one scenario okay so you could be keeping a watch on this person you could be just really watching their social media or this woman here this empress you know she could be keeping a watch on this um king of swords which i think is you okay if you are this man leo so she's keeping a watch on you because see again with the nine of pentacles in the reverse this is a woman who's not confident in herself there are a lot of things hidden um about this woman and she's not confident in herself this could be a very codependent energy she's really clinging on to your energy here leo so it's creating a lot of burden and hopelessness okay so yeah those are the two scenarios for leo but let's see any message from the universe for my leo please any message from the universe for my beautiful leo what does the universe wants to tell you be true to yourself see and there's a sun that's leo so leo you need to be truthful you need to be authentic within yourself is this connection worth it okay like if you are this man and you're dealing with this empress here this could be a woman which is old you know who's older than you she could be a mother to a child okay she could be older or she's just really mature in some way so you need to ask yourself is this connection really worth it like is this for you really because if it was you wouldn't be you wouldn't be feeling this heaviness this burdened energy here this hopelessness okay so perhaps um, July is a time for you to introspect what is going on here is this really worth it okay so that was your reading Leo let's move on to what comes off to Leo? Hmm. Virgo. Let's see, what is happening with Virgo in the month of July? What is happening with my beautiful Virgos? With my beautiful Virgos out there in the month of July? What does Virgo need to know for the month of July, please? What is happening for Virgo? Okay, one strongest energy for Virgo, please, for the month of July 2023. What is happening for Virgo? Wow, this card is really coming up a lot. This came for Aries, this came for Taurus, and now it's coming up for Virgo again. Let's see. Hmm. People, professional assistants, all right. So Virgo, we have spirit, family, friends, and guides. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that if you were depending on some kind of an information or perhaps some kind of a support from somebody you considered 
you know, a really good friend, or this could be a group of people that you really rely on, right? Your colleagues or your friends. I feel you are ditching this energy here, right? This group of people, you don't want to deal with this anymore. And in fact, you are actually moving towards somebody who is a professional. This professional can help you learn about whatever you are wanting to understand in the month of July and you'll be like ah oh, you know this oh wow how easy how simple it was this energy like this information was always in front of me I just couldn't see it I'm so thankful for this professional here who is helping me understand this right so that's the energy here. You could be really learning a lot or you could be really gathering a lot of information about your situation. But if you were dealing uh, or if you were relying on a group of friends or colleagues, whatever this information is, like you, you're leaving that behind, okay? So yeah, this, this energy can really, this professional assistance can bring you a lot of mental clarity about your own situation right so of course that's going to differ for every one of you right but let's see what is going on three cards for virgo in the month of july 2023 what is happening for the sign of virgo okay so we have the king of wands in the reverse sorry about the background noise guys king of wands in the reverse Sagittarius energy, let's see. What's happening for Virgo? We have the Tower and we also have the Five of Swords, but I like I didn't want to take that Five of Swords, but okay. Ooh. Right, this is <laughs> okay, Virgo. I think you are about to get into a fight with a king of wands in the reverse in the month of july so the king of wands in the reverse is you know this is a person a masculine who's overly sexual right this is somebody who's just around you because they want to have intimate relationship with you right like really sexual based um you know this person is not available emotionally so there's a breakthrough there this foundation is whatever this connection is this with this king of wands here in the reverse it's about to come crumbling down because this is a false foundation this is actually a breakthrough perhaps you were always meant to break away from this person okay so yeah there is some kind of an information that's coming to you uh, you know with the help of a professional now this could be for some of you that you are getting a you know a personal tarot reading done on this person here and you are getting a lot of information the reality about this person king of wands is a very manipulative energy okay this person can really manipulate you into sleeping with him okay this is a person who love bombs you all the time and just really you know when he has what he, when he gets what he wants he, he will just disappear okay again he'll come back into your life because he wants to sleep with you again right so he'll manipulate you and he'll love bomb you and then again you know very common girl kind of an energy here very overly sexual not a good energy to deal with um, so Sagittarius Scorpio energy so now what I'm getting here with the five of wands and the five of swords both in the reverse this is going to create a lot of drama and chaos mental conflict you know humiliation and just really ego clashes and fights and just really bad words spoken to each other so uh, like this situation is about to fall apart Virgo you need to be very careful of this because I think this will happen so now that you know you can be mentally prepared for this K okay? I'm sorry that you know that it's a very heavy reading for you guys but <laughs> I'm not sure or you know what guys <laughs> 
if you are this energy i'm sorry because i have you know this is a general reading so i have to turn it around also the second message is that if you are in this energy this king of wands in the reverse the person that you are dealing with is getting a tarot reading done on you and whoever this woman or man is you know they're about to come across some some truths about you okay so there is going to be a really bad conflict or a fight uh, in the month of July. This foundation is going to come crumbling down. It's going to be very sudden. So if you are in this energy, perhaps it's, you know, this is the time when you really come back to your senses. Okay, but if this is a person that you are dealing with, you know, it could happen for them as well. So yes, I am seeing karma here. This is uh, this is some um, somebody's getting karma here in the month of July. Okay, um, Sagittarius and um, Aries and Scorpio energy is very strong in this reading. You could be dealing with one of those. But let's see any message from the universe for my Virgos. What's the message for Virgo in the month of July 2023? What messages? One message. For the sign of Virgo. All there is to love has been there all along. So yeah, this is about self-love, guys. You, you need to stop looking for love in this situation. This King of Wands cannot provide you what you are looking for, okay? At least in this time period. In the future, if, you know, he comes to his senses and things, you know, just start going well with you, that's another scenario. But in the month of July, you need whatever love you are seeking, it's all within you. Just go within yourself. Stop focusing on this energy here. It's not going to serve you, okay? So that's your reading, Virgo. Let's move on to Libra. Okay, so what's happening for Libra? Beautiful Libras out there. What is happening for the sign of Libra? Let us see. What's happening for Libra in this in the month of in the month of July 2023? What's happening with Libra? What is the strongest energy for Libra in the month of July 2023? Hmm. So, <clears throat> some kind of an adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline rush. What am I saying here? Some kind of an adrenaline, adrenaline. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, Libra. I'm not sure if you are just really confused with your words in the month of July but what I was trying to say is you could be having an adrenaline adrenaline rush <laughs> oh that's funny oh, you know for some of you okay but let's see what is the strongest energy for Libra in the month of July okay ooh a deception ay 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 so Libra, hmm. okay, I'm seeing present power, consciousness, okay, so Libra, there is a situation which could actually be somewhat triggering for you in the month of July, right? There is some kind of a deception going on, especially in your workplace. I'm seeing colleagues here. Okay, you could be into corporate or you work in a, you know, in, in an environment where there's office, a lot of paperwork, people just really dressing up in formals all day. Okay, so something like that. So it's really annoying you okay because perhaps you know that you know some kind of a gossip is going on around you so it, it could be really triggering you or annoying you hmm. so 
So, you know, stay away from somebody you consider to be your friend, basically, because this friend could be the one who's just really gossiping about you behind your back. Um, she could also be, she or he could also be giving out false information to your superiors, okay, which might really jeopardize your image in some way. Okay, this could also be talking about a third party situation, if you are inquiring about a love situation, if this office scenario is not resonating with you. This could be talking about a third party situation and there's a lot of gossip going on about you. This third party is, you know, speaking a lot of false things about you to your person. Oh, right, so, so let's see. Three cards for Libra, please. What is going on for Libra in the month of July 2023? What is happening for the sign of Libra in the month of July 2023? For Libra. Two of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a work situation. Perhaps you are involved with somebody at work. And let's see. Ooh, three of swords in the reverse. Page of cups in the reverse, okay. Hmm. So Libra, yes, you could be involved with somebody at work, okay? But I feel because of this deception or this gossip going on around you, like I, I see a, a this could be a separation for some of you. <laughs> okay, um, so for some of you, this third party, whoever this third party is, this woman or this man, whoever, I think it's a woman, this woman could be doing some kind of a spell work, you know, some kind of a candle magic handle magic because she basically wants to be with your person she wants to perhaps renew things with your person so if there was somebody before you you know in this in this person's life in your person's life so that ex-partner that ex could be wanting to come back to your person or she's really trying to get him um, to like start looking at her and you know so, um, you know stop focusing on you so there could be a separation on the cards here for some of you okay um, now for some of you you are dealing with somebody at work um, I don't know I'm, I'm really getting a very negative energy from this age of Pentacles Ooh, look at her dark lips here. So, so Libra, just really be careful if you are in that energy where you're feeling very resentful, okay, or angry or mad towards your person because he or she is indulging in this in this gossip in the month of July okay it could really just really mess up your health if you are getting bothered or triggered by this energy so I think it will be necessary for you Libra to just protect yourself just really pray right do some affirmations right just really pray to spend some time um, and pray for your protection spiritual physical psychological emotional mental protection right um, like if you really are feeling guided you can reach out to me and I can give you some prayers Libra you can protect yourself you, you might also want to get a personal reading as to what is happening in this situation and you know who is this person what are they gossiping about so I can help you with that if you feel guided to reach out to me I'll give you some prayers as well so you can protect yourself 
okay but generally you need to protect yourself from this energy because it might really mess up with your health so whatever this gossip is about you know this woman is trying to take away your person from you because she wants to be in a love relationship with him or her so you you can you could end up getting separated from your person okay i'm not sure if this other person this woman here she is telling this man that you know she is like she's trying to make him believe that she is his real soulmate okay so yeah that's a really messed up situation for you libra i'm sorry that was a very heavy reading but let's see um does the universe wants to say anything to libra is there any guidance for libra do something new something different okay so yeah perhaps you know if this person your person is so easily um like so easily manipulated i'm not sure if this person is for you so perhaps it's time to look at something new or perhaps it's time to focus on yourself for the time being focus on a new project at work just really try and take off your focus from this deceptive energy whatever is going on around you okay because see with the three of swords in the reverse this could actually be very depressing and triggering for you so it might be a good idea to focus on something new perhaps a new relationship or perhaps something about your work projects but something new so that was your reading libra let's see let's move on to scorpio okay so for scorpio what is happening for scorpio in the month of july 2023 what's happening for scorpio hmm. so i'm not sure scorpio that you are trying to get something but you are struggling to get it right it could be a lot of things Perhaps you, like you have a goal or aim in the month of July, but perhaps you're struggling to achieve it. Let's see. What is happening for Scorpio, please, in the month of July 2023? What's the strongest energy for Scorpio? Consciousness of lack, yeah. So if you are struggling, it's because you are operating from this consciousness of lack okay at the bottom of the deck the honoring part so i'm not sure if you are trying to get recognition or fame um like really you, you just perhaps you just want some recognition um for the work that you have done okay perhaps you are trying to achieve this energy where people really you know see your potential they really look at you and just really just see that you you know you are somebody with a lot of capability and potential i'm not sure but perhaps you are struggling to achieve it because you are operating from a consciousness of lack there's a belief here that you can't achieve it right so let's see why is this consciousness of lack here for scorpio okay so this card is really coming up a lot in the month of july see you need to separate yourself from a group of people from a group of friends or family or colleagues that are just putting you down okay that are just really putting doubts in your mind about yourself new supportive connections yes you need to look for people who are really supportive of you okay the the real you the authentic you if you are trying to be someone else in front of a group of people then that that group of people is not for you okay you need to leave this behind because of these people it, it's really messing up your solar plexus here right it's really messing up with your confidence so you need to separate from a group of people especially so let's see what is happening for scorpio okay three cards for scorpio for the month of july 
Eight of Cups. Yes, yeah, see, you need to move on. You need to walk away from this. Six of Swords. But see, again, you are struggling. You feel very stuck. And the King of Wands. Okay, so I'm not sure if you are... Um, like if you are dealing with a king of wands in the reverse, right? This is a person who's who's manipulative, who's controlling, who, who's who can be overly sexual. Okay, this is a very in and out energy, a very Casanova, playboy, player kind of an energy. So you're feeling very stuck. Perhaps this person keeps manipulating you into something you don't want to do, or you don't want to be. So you really need to walk away from this situation here, okay? Because perhaps you doubt that you will find something better. Okay, so stop stop those doubts. Like stop giving energy to those doubts. You will find something even more better, you know, which is something which is aligned to your authentic self. There is a lot of emotional fulfillment and happy times awaiting you if you can actually gather up some courage and strength and walk away from this person because I am seeing that you are feeling very stuck. Six of Swords in the reverse is, you know, is an energy where there is no change, it's all status quo, nothing is moving forward, there's no progress, just mentally stuck in, in one place. It's happening because I feel this group of people, this includes this King of Wounds in the reverse, a very manipulative energy. This person, whatever they want, they will have it at any cost. This person can belittle you because of that, okay? This person can love bomb you, just really, you know, just say really good things about you one day. The other day, they're just really belittling you in front of other people. So yeah, very narcissistic. Um, like stay away from this energy this is not a good energy to deal with page of swords yes you you need to cut away all you know fantasies or illusions that you are in you need to start looking at at things from a very logical perspective scorpio okay you need to be very analytical and logical very objective about this situation because eight of cups again could be talking that you could be stuck in your emotions because of this man here who's really manipulating you. So yes, that is why you are unable to just really believe in your own potential and confidence. You need to walk away from this Scorpio. Okay, so let's see what message from the universe for my beautiful Scorpio in the month of July. Any message for Scorpio? Okay, time to make a demonstration, see? Demonstrate that you can walk away from this, that you will not take any bullshit. I'm seeing a lot of blue, so this is about communication. You need to have really strong boundaries, Scorpio. You need to speak up. You need to walk away and show this person here that you can do whatever you want once you put your mind to it okay so speak up don't hesitate right so that's a reading for scorpio now moving on to sagittarius so let's see what's happening for my beautiful sagittarius out there in the month of july 2023 what's happening for sagittarius please in the month of july What's happening for Sagittarius? Hmm. So Sagittarius, perhaps what you thought is for you is not working out, okay? Let's see, what is happening for Sagittarius? The strongest energy for the sign of Sagittarius in the month of July 2023. What is happening for Sagittarius? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so Sagittarius in the month of July, perhaps you know there's a loss here. <laughs> mm. 
No, it's not a loss. See, what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, you know, perhaps you are letting go of something or someone. Perhaps you thought this is your true love, okay? But true love is within yourself. You are your own true love. So you have to vibrate on that energy, right? It all starts with you. So you don't need any outer validation of love or emotional fulfillment. It's all within you. It starts from you, okay? So what you thought is a loss. It, you know, I feel that you are actually consciously letting this go, this situation. Because see, if this is true love, they, it will come back to you, okay? Because you need to free this situation. If you are trying to keep it binded to you or bound to you, then you are just really insecure, right? But I'm not getting that energy for Sagittarius. I'm seeing that you are actually letting this go because you trust in yourself. You trust with, you know, in this true love. You know this is your true love. It will come back to you. So you are actually loving yourself. You are mirroring this energy. Because you are operating from a place of self-love and just see how, you know, the, this part is just all glittery and shiny as if blessings are being showered upon this woman. So this is the energy from the divine, the blessings and miracles, okay? Crown chakra and third eye activating. Just This is a beautiful energy, guys. You are letting go of someone whom you believe to be your true love. Because you know the true love is within you, not in an outer body or in an outer person. I feel this person will come back. Okay? The sun is setting down today, but the next day when the sun rises, this person will have clarity and they will come back. Okay? So I feel you are letting this go consciously which is a great energy, Sagittarius. Right, so let's see. Three tarot cards for Sagittarius in the month of July 2023. What's happening for Sagittarius? Karma. See, karma is on your side. I'm not sure if there's an eclipse coming up in the month of July, but this is talking about karma, which is like the judgment, a new beginning, things going to be restarting second chance will be given to you nine of swords so your worry your anxiety and your fear is is like you don't need to be in this energy if at all you are feeling this way right the sleeplessness and this um you're just really feeling anxious and fearful just stressing over this situation your, your worries are like there's no reason for it. You don't need to worry about this because you will have a second chance at this connection, this true love. Okay, karma is on your side. Okay, one last card. Okay, so yes, three of swords in the reverse. So yes, I am seeing that you will be feeling a lot of pain of separation. But... See, Wheel of Fortune, things will turn out in your favor, whether whether or not you believe it, right? This might take a little time, but Wheel is turning in your favor. Blessings and miracles will come back to you, and then you will be surprised, like, like oh my god, I did not expect this to happen. It will make you really happy, you'll feel very lucky and fortunate, okay? So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio, Seven of Wands, and the King of Cups. Hmm. So see, this person here, they are walking away from you because they are in denial right now. This person is in denial about their feelings for you, right? This person keeps fighting their feelings back for you. So even though they could be watching you from afar, but this person is not taking any action, right? Right, so yeah, because they are in denial, perhaps that is why energetically you feel that this person is just walking away from you. They're not there with you, okay? So, right, let, let's get one card for the King of Cups here for Sagittarius. What is happening here? 
Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm so we have the emperor. So perhaps this person is committed to somebody else, but just see how guarded this person is with all that armor. This person is not really emotionally available to their current partner as well. Okay. They are looking back towards their childhood. Okay, how how difficult and you know challenging and full of struggles their childhood was. So they keep looking back towards the sweet memories, but also the challenges that they have faced, uh, you know, since their childhood. Perhaps that is why this person is very emotionally closed off because of their childhood wounds. Now with the king, of, sorry, with the knight of wounds in the reverse, this is a player energy, somebody who's very immature, very reckless, very in and out, very just, you know, available for sexual relationships, not emotionally available, okay? So this person is right now operating from this energy. So there's a lot of healing that needs to take place within this person in order to match your frequency, your vibration. Okay, so even if this person was with you right now, it will just cause you stress and anxiety and, you know, a lot of heartache. So it's better to let this go and just let this person be free. If they are your true love, they will come back to you. Okay, so really, don't worry about that. Don't stress over this. Over this. Like, it's your worries are for no reason, actually. So let's get one card from the universe for Sagittarius. What does the universe wants to say to my beautiful Sagittarius out there? It's not as if you need anyone. See, what did I say? You are your own true love. The love that you seek is within you. You don't need anybody, any outer validation, okay? You are enough, Sagittarius. You have it all. So that was your reading, Sagittarius. Moving on to Capricorn. Right, so Cap Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces are left. Let's see what's happening for Capricorn in the month of July. Okay, Capricorn, so I'm not sure if you are feeling that time is... You know, you're just losing out on a lot of time or, you know, that just, you know, there's a deadline, you need to finish something and time is short. Anyway, let's see. What's happening for Capricorn in the month of July 2023 for the, for the sign of Capricorn, please? What's happening for Capricorn? What's the strongest energy for Capricorn in the month of July? No, not that one. Hmm. Great gratitude in the reverse. Hmm. All right, so there's a decision that you need to make, Capricorn, okay? There's a lot of back and forth going on. You want to take action or you want to decide something, but then you are not able to. Okay, perhaps you are focusing on the negative aspects of this situation. I think it will be necessary for you to just focus on the good things, right? Have gratitude for what you have, for all the good things in your life. Just really Pay attention to all the signs and synchronicities, the messages that the universe is trying to send you about your situation. Keep an open eye, okay? But really stop focusing on the negative because that can really, you know, just, just let's get one more card. What is this great gratitude about in the reverse? No, not that one. Capricorn see again back and forth yeah that's what is coming so you need to have some strength and courage to decide okay and like a lot is happening in your consciousness a lot could be happening in your solar plexus you want to take action but you are unable to take any action there's a lot of back and forth going on so just remember all the good things and decide Okay, and take action on whatever decision you are making in the month of July. Now let's see. Three cards for Capricorn. What is happening for Capricorn in the month of July 2023? 
for Capricorn. Strength, Leo energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. Wow, the Sun, Leo, strong Leo in this reading, guys. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Knight of Cups. So, if you are dealing with a Leo, Capricorn, I feel this person is lying to you. Like there is a lie or some deception, some secrets this person is holding on to. This person doesn't want to let, let her secrets out. They're holding on to you very tightly, but they're also holding back on taking any action towards you. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo very strongly. Okay, so... This could also be talking about this person's pride. Okay, Capricorn, this could be your energy as well. Perhaps you want to take action towards somebody, but you are just, you know, perhaps you are lying to yourself. Let's see, what is this about? Six of Wands in the... Yeah, this is about pride. And the lovers in the reverse. The fool. Okay, so Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo. It's coming up very strongly here, but there's a lot of pride. Somebody here is unable to make a decision from their heart because this person is too much in their ego. They are holding back on taking any action, right? This person does want to have a new beginning. They feel the soul connection with you. They feel they feel very happy and rejuvenated when they are in, in company of this other person, right? So this person definitely wants to start things. There's happiness. There's like, you could have spent childhood together for some of you, not everybody. But this person also finds you very beautiful, right? This person could be very sexually attracted to you. They want to be in a lover's connection. But the thing is, this person is too much in their ego. They're holding back on taking any action towards you in the month of July. Right. This person could also be watching you on your social media. But then their pride comes... Uh, like comes in between and they're just unable to take any action towards you okay so you can just reverse the roles if that's how you are feeling but i think you need to make a decision if this is you or well, this person is really you know back and forth because this person is focusing on the negative aspects of this connection or whatever went down whatever just didn't work out in the past this person could be focusing on a lot of negative things basically so perhaps they need to start focusing on what's good and finally take a decision here in the month of july okay so let's get one card from the universe what does the universe wants to tell my capricorn what does capricorn needs to know please a, a message from the universe for capricorn sometimes the good is hidden see this person is hiding. They are holding back on taking action. Now, I'm not sure whatever they are hiding is good or bad, but they are hiding. They are holding back something from you. That is why, like, there's pride in the way. They don't want to let you know. Perhaps they don't want to let you know what how they feel about you. Because perhaps there's that fear of rejection, right? So perhaps it's not entirely bad. This person does have feelings for you, but they're also too much in their pride. So they're unable to take a decision and take action towards you. Yeah, but it's hidden. Whatever this is, it's hidden right now in the month of July, okay? I'm not sure if there is some kind of a conjunction or two planets coming together. Like, I'm, I'm not sure. This, this looks like Mercury. Could be talking about Mercury retrograde. Right, something happening with Venus or Mars or Mercury. Something is happening, I think, in the month of July with Mars and Mercury. 
so perhaps you know when these planets are coming together perhaps that's the time this person will let out their secret on how they're feeling about you but for most part of the July I think this is hidden for you Capricorn okay this person is hiding how they feel or they are hiding something because of their pride mm. okay that was your reading Capricorn moving on to Aquarius So let us see what is going on with Aquarius. What is happening for the sign of Aquarius? Hmm. Some kind of a conflict, Aquarius. I don't know. It just came to my mind. Mental conflict or verbal conflict of some kind. Let's see. What is happening for the sign of Aquarius in the month of July? What's the strongest energy for Aquarius? Thank you. Wow. Hidden motivations. Status quo in the reverse. Oh, all right. So things are... Let's see. For Aquarius. So a whale is being lifted, yes. Okay, a whale is being lifted. This this could be this could be you feeling this way, perhaps. Like there's a very strong activation of your crown chakra, okay? So perhaps you were denying your own feelings about somebody. And now that whale is being lifted. So now you are very much, you know, in acceptance and surrender. You are listening to your heart. Your heart, your heart chakra is really balanced during this time, right? You could be spending some time in nature. It's really helping you connect with your feelings, with your heart chakra, right? But, but this is a beautiful energy. So if you are in denial or in conflict with your own inner feelings, your intentions towards somebody, I think that will is being lifted. You will start seeing things clearly you will start accepting and surrendering to your feelings right and this might happen in a very effortless manner because i do see you were holding some negativity or resentment or dark thoughts towards this situation in the recent past i think you are coming to an acceptance and surrender in the month of july so let's see what is happening for Aquarius. Three cards for Aquarius for the month of July 2023. Ooh, wow, we have the Four of Wands, the Empress. Wow, this is talking about engagement or marriage. Let's see what is happening here for the sign of Aquarius. The world, wow. Page of Wands, so a happy news, a good news could be coming your way. Page of Wands is, okay, mm. so, okay, for some of you Aquarius, I'm not sure if you are trying to show somebody that you are now with someone else okay you have some anger or resentment towards this other person right so now that you are in a different relationship or in a connection you want this past person to know that you are doing okay you are happy okay you're just moving on within your life you're just taking that next step you have learned your lessons uh, from this other situation Okay, so you are closing out that cycle, you're wanting to start afresh in a new situation where you could actually be getting engaged 
For some of you, this could also be talking about marriage. So I'm not sure if you are accepting somebody's proposal because intention here is also like the Ten of Cups energy, right? So this is talking about marriage. So I'm not sure if you are accepting somebody's proposal, Aquarius. This could bring a lot of happiness or celebration into your life. Things are growing. There's love. There's happiness, right? So, so this is a very beautiful energy for Aquarius. Just look at that. All cards are positive. Two major arcana. So this is divinely guided. I think you are meant to move forward with this proposal, this marriage, whatever this one step forward is. Okay, but... Be careful if you are feeling some kind of an anger or resentment towards somebody. Okay. Yeah, because like like it should not come from a place of ego. Yeah, see? Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this other person could have really manipulated you emotionally. They could have lied to you or, you know, really deceived you in some way. So, you know, you're wanting to show this other person that, look, I'm doing okay, how well I'm doing, I'm getting married, I'm getting engaged, or I'm in a relationship now. So perhaps it might not be a good idea, okay, because it's coming from a place of ego. It's all right if you are just putting some pictures, but, you know, it should not be the case that you are trying to show somebody, right? So just be mindful of that energy. Otherwise, the you know rest of your reading is really good, Aquarius, for the month of July. Right, so let's get one card as the message from Universe for my beautiful Aquarius. Any message for Aquarius? Wow, love is the reason. Oh, wow. You, you might have been denying your feelings for this person. Okay, but I think you are coming to acceptance and surrender, Aquarius. Right, so this is beautiful. Okay, perhaps you are just really agreeing to yourself that yes, I do have feelings of love. And I think it will not be a bad idea to move forward in this connection. Um, the Empress is a very beautiful woman. She is very secure she has a lot of love and stability to offer she's very independent right so this is a combination of all four queens so it's like a total package so perhaps this person sees you like that okay so yeah you were unsure about this person but now i think you are coming like to a surrender that yes i do want this so congratulations aquarius this is beautiful Right, so here we are on the last sign, Pisces. Let us see what is happening for Pisces in the month of July 2023. What's happening for Pisces? <clears throat> What's happening for the sign of Pisces, please, in the month of July? Okay. Letting go. Okay, Pisces, you need to let go of something. Something which you are holding on to very tightly. Perhaps it's time for you to let go of something. Okay, anyway, but let's see. What is the strongest energy? Hmm. So, Pisces, I'm not sure if your higher self is trying to tell you something, right? So, listen to your higher self. Just really pay attention to your dreams at this time, Pisces. What energy for Pisces? Let's get one card. What's the strongest energy for Pisces in the month of July 2023 for Pisces? Okay, two cards. Hmm. <sighs> Planning and action. Okay, so Pisces, you are afraid that people are going to think negatively about you. 
okay so perhaps that fear is keeping you at bay it's keeping you all tied up you're unable to take necessary actions towards your growth towards aligning your life to a particular situation right because you are afraid that people are going to talk behind your back um you you need to come back to an energy where you need to think about things very logically and objectively you need to plan this thing okay perhaps it will be a good idea to not tell everybody about your plans but definitely planning and action is required if you want to move away from this this energy here where you are just too worried about how people think about you okay yeah because it's really blocking a lot of manifestations and blessings for you because you're so worried about other people pisces anyway let's see i'm really drawn to the buckle of this man's belt right so i'm not sure if you are just really worried about your image getting destroyed or you getting insulted or humiliated in some way in front of these other people if you took a particular step forward okay but like you should not be worried about these things pisces okay if your heart is telling you what you need to do you you need to do it don't stop yourself from doing it that's why i said just really pay attention to your dreams you could be having some really bizarre dreams your higher self could be coming in to tell you that you need to do this don't be afraid what other people are going to think about you okay anyway let's let's see what what about pisces three cards for pisces in the month of july 2023 for Pisces. Knight of Swords, yes. Logical, analytical, objective thinking is required. Six of Swords, again, otherwise it will keep you very stuck. There will be no positive change in your life if you keep yourself stuck mentally in this situ uh, situation. One last card for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, see, you are codependent on something. Um, are you codependent on your family for your finances, or are you codependent on your current partner? Right? Whatever this is, you need to speak up. See, because see, the tower is here. You could be talking about that this could be a relationship perhaps or a marriage or a commitment of some kind a family situation perhaps so this situation is based on a false foundation because you are not being able to um, like show your authentic self so this is a false situation it's going to crumble down it's going to fall apart Okay, you need to plan this thing out. You need to be very logical about your next step. And with the Knight of Swords, this needs to be a very clear-cut, straightforward communication with these, with these people here. So once you decide, once you have made this plan, your next step, whatever this next step is, you need to be very clear in your communication. If you are unable to speak up, it will keep you tied up, tied down. You will not be able to move forward, okay? And this will really mess up with your financial abundance, your ability to manifest abundance, right? It will really mess up with your confidence, your self-esteem, your self-worth. You need to do this, Pisces. You need to be very clear about this, okay? Whatever your situation is. Yeah, see, shadow. Yep, so this is the devil. You are afraid. There's a lot of fear and anxiety. Oh my God. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you are overly focused on like... The King of Pentacles in the reverse is a very codependent energy. This person is disloyal. This person is overly focused on material things, on, on what people think about him, okay? 
So I'm not sure if this is you or you are dealing with somebody like that, but you need to be like two of cups. Hmm. You are stuck in some kind of a connection here because you, you like there is somebody here who's not feeling very confident in themselves, right? They feel they, they can't do better alone. So that's the problem here. So Pisces, if you are dealing with somebody like that, you need to just really dump this person's ass and move forward, okay? And if you are in this energy, Pisces, just know that fear is an illusion. It's not real. Trust your heart. Trust your higher self. What is it trying to tell you? Okay, you need to be very logical about this. You need to move away from this situation, Pisces in the month of cancer sorry in the month of july okay you could be dealing with a cancer or you could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn capricorn is very strong here though right so let us see any wow okay so many cars fell out any message from the universe for my Pisces, my beautiful Pisces, any message from the universe in the month of July, I go where you go, see? So Pisces, I think the universe is trying to tell you that you are supported. Where whatever you decide, wherever you go, just know that you can do it on your own. You don't need to be codependent on anybody, your parents, your partner, whatever the situation is, okay? The universe is with you. Angels are with you. They are all supporting you. You will, like, you will get through this. Don't worry. Oh my God, look at that. It's not as if you need anyone. Look at that beautiful energy okay so that was your reading pisces i hope it resonated and helped you all um thank you so much for being here guys i'll see you in my next video take care bye